Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the ADE Stingray, which is their new RMR compatible micro red dot sight. So let's get this on the table and take a look at it. All right, here in the box is the ADE Stingray. Take that out, set it there. It does come with flavor packet for your toast. You've got your screwdriver here to adjust your elevation and your windage over here. And they sent it out with the common screws for it. When they do end up shipping these out, they said they are going to send more screws than just these two. So you should have the screws to mount it to whatever you need when they ship these out. And of course, underneath we have our battery and they are going to send a little rubber disc on there to hold the battery in, give you a little bit of protection. I believe when they send it out, they are going to send the official ones out to cover all the electronics and everything. I just got the little disc because this is pretty much prototype. Now here we have a couple of options available for an RMR footprint. These are the ones I have. I do not have a Trigicon RMR. I have the Swamp Fox Liberty. I also have a Justice, which is on my P320. The Justice is exactly the same dimensions as the Liberty, except it has a wider objective window on it. The Holosun 507C, pretty much a standard, everybody knows. And the ADE Stingray. Now the first thing you're gonna notice about the Stingray is it is a little shorter than the RMR footprint of the other two. If you're going to have a gun specifically milled for a Stingray, just be aware that it will not fit any other RMR footprints that come in. If you have one that is already milled for an RMR, the Stingray will bolt right on. It's just going to be a little bit shorter than what the cut is going to be. Now one of the advantages of that is if you have one that has a premium on the real estate that is there for your red dot site, the Stingray will fit in places that a regular RMR wouldn't and you wouldn't have to go down to the RMSC cut. And just for a visual reference, we will get the caliper out here and measure them. But the Hollow Sun is quite a bit taller than the Stingray and the Swamp Fox is a little bit shorter than the Hollow Sun. So now I've got my trusty scale out here. We'll start out with the Holosun 507C, and that is 1.4 ounces. And that is with the battery loaded in it, not the screws. And the Swamp Fox Liberty is 1.2 ounces, so it's a little lighter than the Holosun, which isn't surprising considering the Holosun has a lot thicker bezel around the glass, and you're also getting in your solar panel there and the electronics for that. And the ADE Stingray comes in at 0.8 ounces. So it is 0.6 ounces lighter than the Holosun and 0.4 ounces lighter than the Swamp Fox Liberty. Now, as far as width, these should all be pretty close to the same since they are all for the RMR cut. So we have 1.1005 inches on the Stingray. We have 1.1255 inches on the Holosun 507C, and we have 1.1080 on the Swamp Fox. Now, as far as length, the Holosun and the Swamp Fox are gonna be a little bit longer, because as I said, this is a little shorter package here. So we have 1.6035 on the Stingray. We have 1.78 on the Holosun 507C, and the Swamp Fox Liberty is 1.7760, so almost the same length as the Holosun 507C. Now, as far as the height of them, the Stingray is 0.8995, so 0.9 inches tall. The Swamp Fox 
is 0 0.990 so that is basically an inch tall the hollow sun which was the tallest of the three comes in at 1.1445 inches tall and then I had somebody ask about the height to the rear of it so that you can get an idea of the height you need for co-witness now the ADE is set up I believe they're going to 3d print and put white dots in here and you also have the little notch there as a backup site and going to the bottom of that notch you are 0 0.270 inches if I went all the way to the top of it we are 0.3345 inches uh, with the Swamp Fox Liberty you do not have the option for uh, backup sites molded into the rear of it and we are at 0.358 and for the Hollow Sun 507C we have 0.345 inches and since I want to get this video out without having it flagged by YouTube I did not get a pew machine out so what we have here is the number two plate for a Canik and this is the RMR plate as you can see the hollow sun goes on it and we come out almost completely to the rear of the plate the Swamp Fox Liberty same thing comes out and we're almost to the rear of the plate there and the stingray when we put it on as you can see we do have a little bit of plate left on the back side of it but as I said if you have it cut for an RMR this will fit if you have a system like the Canics that has the plates it will fit and if you have a pew machine with limited real estate on the top you could actually get away with using the Stingray possibly versus a full-size RMR pattern optic. All right, now let's take a look at some of the features of the different models. The Hollow Sun is of course a battery with a solar backup on it. You have the option for a two MOA dot or the circle dot, or I think you can do just the circle on it. You'd have to go in and check the settings I set mine and left it as it is. You can also have it be a auto or manual. Again, you'd have to look up the settings for it. It is a shake awake and these usually go for about 300 bucks. The Swamp Fox Liberty is a three MOA dot. You can get this in two versions. You can get an auto version or a manual version. This one is the manual version. You can also get the Justice, which has a wider optic window. It is shake awake, and these run about 250. And then we have the ADE Stingray. This is a six MOA dot. It is always on. It does have auto brightness, and it runs $150. So hopefully that was a little bit of useful information on the ADE Stingray. Between the weather, I was sick, the dog was sick, ammo prices, I have not got out and shot with this yet. I do have the Glock 17 with the Live Free Armory slide. I'm going to put this one on it. I have some sights coming for that one for backup sights, and then I will get out there and do a little testing with these. Now I did have the spike that I put quite a few rounds through with that one, tested it out, everything ran fine with that. This is also one of the prototypes that they sent out for the Stingray. I don't foresee having any problems with this, but I do want to get it out and get it on the range and do a little bit of actual live freedom flinging with it. So go check them out, ADE. They are taking pre-orders for this now. They're expecting now to ship on the 15th of February. If you're on a red dot budget, go check them out, full aluminum, multi-coated glass on there, auto brightness, 150 bucks.
Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that button up there. If you'd like to see another video from me, hit that button over there. If you want to see something from one of my friends, Gizzard Gary, Sergeant C4 Defense, or the Gun Snob, or perhaps a playlist from all the hens, hit that button up there.